How many ways can you build a Niv-Mizzet guild pack decklist? We built three, one for each playstyle, aggro, midrange, and control. This video is going to break down how we built a competitive deck in each style. And as you know, Niv requires specific conditions be met by having different but exactly two color pairs. I'll probably eat that in the comments. This will add to X. We start with aggro playstyle. My main focus was to retain the deck at three colors, those being Jun, red, green, and black. A lot of those threats are within these colors and provide multiple advantages, but to start, there is no question about who's the GOAT. Get it? <laughs> Frantic scapegoats, haste, and suspectability was meant to make our other heavy hitters even more dangerous. Now the goal was to suspect Niv, making him even more difficult to block, but it never happened. Doesn't mean it can't. In addition, Greedy Free Booter is in the deck for fixing and slight card advantage, okay? Now I decided to use battles. They usually remain on the battlefield and aid Niv in his conditions. Invasion of Ergamon not only creates a treasure for fixing, crack a barrel, but draws us a card as well and has gruel colors, green and red. Invasion of Asgol is in Rakdos, black, red, and is part of our removal strategy along with Pharaoh Encounter, which is a dope card, if you ask me. Moving into slot three, we have Glissa Sunslayer repping Gagari, black, green, because duh. It's hard to get around and your opponents are often forced to deal with it. Revaz of the Claw is a little cheap because it adds two mana of any color combination to cast dragon spells. Guess what Niv is? He's a snake. Halana and Elena support in the haste department. Now on average, we were able to have XB2. And from observing the deck and Niv, I should have added a way to give it double strike. Whoop dee doo, I missed out. Especially being in Jun colors. Moving on. Our mid range build relied on getting Niv in the graveyard. The main colors we have in the deck are Sultai, blue, black, green. And to aid in that venture, we have Seed of Hope, Curate, and you know, more stuff. Now, I don't see this card played often, but Likeness Looter, my god, was an unexpected value card. Though only for the turn, it can become a copy of another creature in the graveyard with mana value X. It's a boss. It's his assistant. Boss's assistant, yeah. Now the fairy's identity is in Demir, blue black. And we also have Urtai, resurrected for those colors and his clutch as usual, destroying and countering and busting up stuff. Another niv to the battlefield is the invasion of Monket. And once we remove all the battle counters, we were able to have it come back as a copy of Niv. Now, the cards you don't see in the gameplay are Skyfisher Spider, which is pretty good with the reach and since we mill, or Discard helps us gain life when in a pitch, you know what I mean? Helps a brother out. Now, I'll admit, Tatiova didn't see much play and probably can be cut, but when she made an appearance, she helped us out greatly. Lastly, Invasion of Pyrulia. Play this card more, y'all adopt a card it gave us enough headway to form strategies just from the scry alone and it's a battle in simic colors blue and green now i saved the best for last niv control coined it i went 10 and 0 10 and 0 who cares now we don't have the luxury of green because we went asper blue black white so what do all blue mages love counter spell shut up no they like rocks pause mana rocks the celestis tap for any color gains life draws cards swiss army knife that actually works now gold force stopterix i know why it helps the color identities for azorius and has lifelink flying and adds additional protection to niv invasion of new phyrexia it's hilarious to cast because opponents are like oh my god when you cast it for two like please just stop Drana and Levana help with the colors for Orzhov, white, black, has flying, helps us shut down creature act activated abilities. Now, based on how I play Amalia, should have, you know, been a better option than Levala and Drana, but who cares? We weren't gaining life that consistently, but the biggest question is how do we get Niv out? Spirit Sisters Call. Bet you didn't see that coming. Yep, we need Niv in the graveyard again. So basically exile a creature card on the battlefield and Niv lives again, again, or 
Camille, Shamil, you know her. The inner son puts him out. You won't believe how many times I hit Niv off that trigger. Now, I don't need to cover control as an aspect of it because it's control. Deck list below. But you're probably wondering, where's the games? Coming. They're coming. Chill. I wanted to release a breakdown video first so that way y'all don't hurt my numbers when you don't watch the whole thing. But there is gameplay and it will be on the channel very soon. So stay in the know. You can visit back or subscribe to be notified. I had fun building and playing this deck. And I'd like to know your thoughts, your suggestions, your critics, your mom. No, 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 I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Continue on with your day and go do great things.